This is Florida Gulf Coast University. It was just a few short months ago that I met with this group as they began to sketch out their ideas for their senior project exhibition. They worked hard in their studios, refining and polishing the work that they created. The work they've done represents an awareness of self in the world around them. They pushed themselves, they worked hard, and they polished this work presentation that you see here tonight. My name is Jessica Dian, and the body of work that I'm exhibiting tonight is titled Contemplation. My whole life I've been creating drawings of things as they exist in the physical world and trying to replicate them, this is obsession with photorealism. So this was an opportunity for me to explore something that's personal to me. I really wanted to explore what color means to me on a more spiritual level and hopefully encourage the viewer to figure out what color means to them as well. My name is Robert Malone. My series is Simple Nature. Basically, I was thinking the idea of choice and sin and trying to combine them using uh, representational art. Obviously, the figure is one of my favorite things to do. My name is Mariana Griswold, and my project is called Repositioning Strategy. I am a dual major in art and marketing, and so what I decided to do was put myself in a real life situation in which I would pretend to work for a company and completely redesign the logo, the slogan, and create three separate magazine layouts. And in order to make it as real as possible, I actually had one of my mentors at the company pretend to be the client and consistently guide me throughout the process. My name is Marissa Treger, and my project is called Instincts of Abandonment, and it's about abandonment issues that people go through and our instinctive responses to them. There are psychological and physiological reactions to them. I use my colors to try to display the emotions that I went through while painting each and every one of my pieces. I also have a matching print that is a tiger silhouette and it is supposed to coincide with the painting and show an outline of the body language of the tiger for how you're feeling. My name is Julia Javier and the title of my exhibition is Oceanic Connection. My senior project is about the interconnection between the environment and its subjects. I produced a series of six pen drawings featuring multiple green animals as a part of the environment and the environment as a part of them. Through the transparency of the drawing and the dependency of the animals on the environment, the environment then becomes a part of the subject. Therefore, however, we impact the environment will also affect the subjects. This is Megan Malone and my piece is titled Process of Discovery of Portrait of Stone. The ideas embodied within my work are surrounded by psychological and philosophical concepts that I've been studying through the course of this semester. As I explored different methods, I suddenly realized how I was painting and what I was painting became my own form of meditation. Each surface and layer became instinctive and spontaneous. The ring on the surface illustrates a unifying element with the layers of my soul. The result of my piece is not only a portrait of self, but has become a self-discovery. My project is called I Want to Ride My Bicycle. The whole project is a celebration of the role that bicycling has in my life. It's about the pursuit of happiness and it's about getting on your bike and escaping the pressures of the world and just finding something that we love to do, something that makes us happy and going after that. My work is very bright and colorful. It might even be like childish and that's all intentional. Just like a child saying, I want to do what I want to do. I'm saying, I want to do what makes me happy. I want to ride my bicycle and I want to ride it where I like. My name is Jack Harwitz, and the title of my work is called The Wary Caretaker. As a kid growing up, I've always loved the holiday of Halloween. I kind of noticed over the years that Halloween has become a little bit commercial. This senior project gave me that opportunity to explore the true spirit of the holiday and what it represents through both traditionalism, some symbolism, and of course the surreal. The fact that it was a Celtic holiday from the 8th century, I wanted to try and reintroduce the original design to what it is. My name is Mary Beth. My show tonight is a, called Spirals Inspired. I was first inspired by the early Celtic Christian art. So I started to draw the spirals and use the compass and it just kind of took me into this time warp of creating all these images inspired by different things. Upon doing the work itself, I researched that to the Celts, the spirals actually represent the soul's evolution and personal transformation among many things. That has been my experience here at FGCU, that personal transformation. Thank you for your support and thank you for being here.